Hey everyone, it's me, Miss Heather again. Today we're going to go over our 4-H Focus newsletter and then we're going to have our club meeting on human traits. So to start with on our newsletter, we have our trash pickup. Help us make Monroe County beautiful by volunteering to pick up trash on Tuesday, April the 20th at the 4-H office 3.30 to 5. If you are interested in participating in this event, please call our office to sign up. The number is 478-994-7014. Our Vidalia Onion Fundraiser is still going on. So what better way to purchase these sweet Vidalia onions than through a 4-H'er? The 4-H'er will be selling 5, 10, 25, and 50 pound bags until April the 28th. 4-H'ers, grades 4 through 6. 7th through 8th, and 9th through 12th, with the most sales will win one free Summer Fun Day offered in Monroe County Summer Fun Day Flyer. All profits will benefit the Monroe County 4-H. All money and orders must be returned to the 4-H office no later than 5 p.m. on April the 28th. Summer of Fun. When making fun plans, be sure to include some of the fun things that we have going on in 4-H. As mentioned before, we have our Cupcake Wars, Urban Air Adventure Park, Cookie Creation, Dickies Farms, Outdoor Games, Ice Cream Making, Pinstripes, and many, many more. Spots are limited, so be sure to call the office and register. We are continuing with our Holiday Treats Cookbook. This month, we're asking that you submit your favorite sandwich recipe. How creative can you be? How creative are you when it comes to making a sandwich? Submit your favorite sandwich, including all the toppings. Your delicious sandwich will be featured in our 2021 4-H Holiday Treats Cookbook. These cookbooks will be delivered as extra treats to first responders, local businesses, and 4-H supporters during the 2021 holiday season. Be sure to be creative. This month's spotlight goes to Willow Walters and Tyler Johnson. They are our first place winners in the DPA competition. Congratulations. We are excited to announce that camp registration is now open. Spots are extremely limited, so if you're interested in joining us for a fun week at summer camp, be sure to register now. Inherited versus acquired characteristics. Thousands of characteristics make you who you are, and everyone is unique. Characteristics are also called traits. Traits can be physical. Physical traits describe the way something or someone looks, and it also describes their internal structure. Traits can also be behavioral. Behavioral traits describe the way something or someone acts. It describes what was learned. Characteristics of an organism may be inherited or acquired. Inherited characteristics are DNA that is passed down from parents to offspring. Offspring receives physical traits from both the mother and the father and these are equal amounts from both parents. Traits are either dominant or recessive. Dominant traits is a trait that first appears or is visibly expressed. A recessive trait is still present but is masked and does not show itself. Physical characteristics passed down are called inherited traits. Behavioral characteristics of an organism is born with an instinct. This is a natural way of acting or thinking. We are all born with natural instincts. An acquired characteristic is developed during your life. It's an organism that is not born with them. Physical characteristics that change on an organism over time are called acquired traits. Behavioral characteristics that are acquired over time are called learned behavior. Acquired characteristics are not passed on to offspring. An interesting fact is that characteristics can be both. Skin color is an example of this combination trait. Inherited trait 
is your skin color that is passed down from your parents to the offspring. And it's also an acquired trait because skin color changes from the amount of time that you spend in the sun. So let's review. Physical characteristics passed down from parents to offsprings are called inherited traits. Behavioral characteristics passed down from parents to offspring are called instincts. Physical characteristics that change on an organism over time are called acquired traits. And behavioral characteristics learned over time are called learned behavior. Okay, so let's practice. Tiffany can speak multiple languages. This is something that Tiffany has learned. So this is a learned behavior. Michael has brown eyes. Michael has brown eyes because this is an inherited trait that he has received from his parents. John scraped his knee and has a scar. John was not born with a scar, so this is a scar that he has acquired. So this is an acquired trait. Bridget is yawning. How adorable. This is a natural instinct. So let's explore. This activity calls for you spending time in creating a person that has both physical and behavioral characteristics. 